All right, this is going to be a very basic tutorial here <clears throat> with the Smartduino um, by SmartMaker. We're going to start with the SmartCore U and the SmartMod 5 LED, as well as the Smart Bus Basic Extension. You don't have to use the Basic Extension. You could use a different type of extension um, if you have one. So we're going to take the basic extension out, smart bus basic double, we're going to take our LED module out, which is just the five red LED um, module, and the smart core U, which has the USB header for programming right on it. And basically you're going to snap these in place. Now they snap pretty hard. I've noticed this this morning when messing around with my yellow stuff here. Uh, they snap in really hard and there's a couple times when I go to pull these off the board I feel like if I don't stay out of the way I might accidentally scrape a resistor off. It hasn't happened yet but I think I actually scratched one of my boards um, earlier taking something out of these little connectors here, the smart bus connectors. <clears throat> so I'm going to reposition the camera a little here and go ahead and snap these in. They do snap pretty hard. You're basically going to put them together as close as you can and even when you have them facing the right way and you know you have them facing the right way they still push incredibly hard and they, they you literally will hear it snap. Alright, we're going to do the same for the LED module here. Okay. That's it for our setup right now. Um, <clears throat> you can just use the basic uh, Arduino IDE. Um, I'm not going to show you downloading and installing that. Uh, some people may have the issue where the Smart Core U, when you plug it in the USB to the computer, it shows up as an unknown device in Device Manager. You can just right click Update Drivers and browse to the Arduino folder and find the driver there. It will show up as an Arduino Uno. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this into the computer and then show you the basic code that I've made to light up all these LEDs. All right, we're here at the computer and we're going to plug in our SmartCore U um, system that we built with the 525 LED. I've already got the Ar Arduino IDE installed using the latest version of the IDE. As you can see, the Smart Duino shows up as an Arduino Uno because it's Arduino Uno compatible um, and it's assigned a COM port. Now on your system, if for some reason it shows up as an unknown device, you can update driver software and browse to your Arduino folder and there should be a driver folder under that that should allow you to install the correct driver. Once that's done, you can launch the Arduino IDE. This is a basic blink sketch that I've written um, for the five um, LED module that we've picked out for this demo. It just blinks all five LEDs, nothing fancy. It's just basically like the simple Arduino blink, only it does all five LEDs on the, the LED module. Um, I did some loops here instead of doing, you know, setting each pin out uh, manually one line per pin. I did a little loop um, to do the pin output and also to turn them on and then back off again. It was much more efficient to declare an array and do it that way. You could do it the old-fashioned way. Um, in the code I've actually listed here um, the, the yellow PCB on the 5 to 5 module has numbers. Um, printed on it, silk screened on it, they're black on yellow, and I decided I would list here for you guys um, which pin is what. Um, the center one is printed one on the board on the PCB itself, but it's actually digital pin two, etc. You can use this quick little chart um, to determine that. I will leave a link uh, in the description below for you to download the code. All right, if you've uploaded the example code that I've listed below in the description successfully, you should see all five of your LEDs lighting up. 
Um, I think the next tutorial I do will be on the RGB LED. Um, I know some of these tutorials are basic, but a lot of people are asking for them. So I'll be doing um, that next. Alright guys, well thanks for watching.